Are you getting a new Rottweiler puppy or maybe adopting a Rottweiler dog and you want to change its name or teach your Rottweiler puppy its new name? Well, obviously it seems to go without saying that you need to teach a Rottweiler its name, but when you stop to think about how do you actually do that, it might seem more complicated than you first thought, but don't worry, because that is exactly what I'm gonna help you with in today's video. Welcome back to the Fenrir Rottweiler Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever dream of knowing about the glorious Rottweiler, as well as how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Rottweiler companions. So if this is your first time here and you love Rottweilers as much as we do, don't forget to start by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Rottweiler video. So let's dive into how you go about teaching your Rottweiler its name. And first and foremost, we must, and it's critical, we must understand that your Rottweiler will never understand the concept that it has a name. Names are a completely human idea. Your dog will never know it has a name and there is no amount of training you can do to make them understand the concept that they have a name. Now, that being said, it is important that we teach our dog a name. So that seems like it might conflict what am i on about so don't worry let me explain hey guys very quickly in case you didn't know we have our perfect puppy program it's the program that i designed myself as a canine behaviorist to help you guys become a high level canine leader yourself and then how to be able to take your puppy from the second you bring it home all the way through to that dream of the perfect canine companion that you've always wanted so if you want more information on that there'll be a link down in the description box below thousands of people have now gone through that program Process to extremely high levels of success. So there's some testimonials you can go and check out. More information, it's all in the description box below, but let's get back into the video you were just watching. When we utilize a dog's name, your Rottweiler's name, think about how you go about using that name. Nine times out of 10, it's usually along the lines of asking them to look up to you because you're about to ask them to do something or you're about to ask them to stop doing something. Take for example, usually the stop doing something. We've got Bob the Rottweiler, who might be Bob, stop, at Bob, no. Or in a more positive light, it might be Bob, come. Bob, heel, Bob, sit. Bob, down, Bob, stay. In every scenario that we use our dog's name, what we are actually doing is asking them for their attention, to look up to us for guidance and direction, because we are about to ask them to do something new, or we're gonna ask them to stop doing something that they're currently doing. So inherently, a dog's name is nothing more than an additional command that we need to teach our dog, like how we use the word sit to get the dog to sit down. We could use any word. You could use door and get a dog to sit down. It really doesn't matter. We just decide that we want to use sit for teaching sit. The name principle is exactly the same. We simply need to train, train the dog to understand that its name, that we decide what it is, simply means look up to me because I'm about to ask you to do something or ask you to stop doing something. Obviously, when you're talking to other humans, you can refer to the dog by its name so they understand who it is you're talking about. But when we're communicating with our dogs, we have to see them as dogs they're not other humans so their name simply means stop doing what you're doing look at me so i'm about to ask you to do something or not do it if you can understand that theory and that grasp that concept you're already miles ahead of the vast majority of owners so awesome i get it will that's uh, yeah i didn't think about it like that now i understand it but how do we actually get the Rottweiler to understand its name? Well, this is something that we cover in our Perfect Puppy program, and it's something that we feature inside of our Fenrir basic obedience drill that we start from the second we bring our dog home. And one of the very first things we work on is teaching the dog its name. And the principle behind how we go about doing that is fairly basic. We simply use a standard lure, mark, and reinforce based program. The same way we teach a dog to sit or down or stay or come or more advanced types of obedience. We lure them into the desired response that we want. We then mark that desired response with the verbal cue that we want to use. In this situation, it's their name. Then we praise and reinforce that behavior so they understand that it's a good thing and that they should repeat that desirable behavior over and over again. Very basic operant conditioning. It's the foundation 
foundation of dog training. So how we do that with their name is very simple. Again, we go into detail in the Perfect Puppy Program, but I'm gonna very quickly give you the overarching concept right now. We get a bit of food reward. So we've got a lure. So we use the food lure. We get the dog's attention. They'll be following the lure. We bring that lure right up to our face. We don't want to cover our eyes because we always want that eye contact with the dog, but we bring it up. The dog looks up at us. When we get them looking up, ideally into our eyes, not at the food, but if we're looking at the food to start with, that's okay. We get them looking up. We mark it with their name, and then we give them the food and the reward. So we bring it up. Bob, yes, good Bob, good. Yes, Bob, good. Get praise, reward, and we drill it. It's part of our obedience drill. We put in the reps, we work it, we work it, we work it, and the dog will very quickly, especially a dog as intelligent as Rottweilers, will quickly understand that the concept of their, of this noise that's coming out of our mouth, because to them it's nothing more than that, to us it's their name, but this noise that's coming out of their mouth simply means, look up to me, awesome. And then as the weeks and months go on, we can start layering that up with the Bob sit, Bob come, Bob down, and we layer it up. Now, obviously what we don't want to do is have to lure them into that desired response every time just like how we don't want a four-year-old rottweiler that if we want them to sit down we have to lure them with a piece of food to sit down still we need to remove that lure we do the same thing with teaching the dog its name so we might have been getting them right to come up here but now we might bring it a little bit down and if they're tracking on the food rather than the eye contact we wait we're patient and when we get that moment where they're looking at the food looking at the food then look up at us that's where we mark it with the verbal cue their name we reinforce and reward. And over time, through putting in the reps, putting in the drills, we remove and remove and remove until we're left with no lure whatsoever. We simply use the verbal cue, get the desired behavior, we reward and reinforce. Amazing. Then over time, we remove the reward and reinforcement because we don't ever have a bribery relationship with our dogs. Our dogs do what we ask them to do because of the leadership that we have, calm, consistent leadership, and they always follow our rules, boundaries, and expectations. We help them along that process by utilizing in lures and rewards but then once they've learned those concepts we remove those things from the equation and we're simply left with relationship and communication that is the essence of pretty much all dog training but that's exactly how you teach a rottweiler its name so i hope you found it useful hit that thumbs up button if you did don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because that way you'll never miss a future rottweiler video and i can't wait to see you on the next episode of the family rottweiler show